move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You find my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. You know, it feels so good to be able to go to Mass again. Yeah, I know. I've been struggling to pray at home. Mm. Mm, me too. I know. Let's think of some ways that we can help each other pray. Looking for some help? I can help you find the right way. Here are some clues to help you think of ways to pray. You know the best place to pray is at the Great Feast. You can also adore Jesus in a bright way. A squeaky clean soul is always a good thing. Can you think of other ways to pray? Hmm, a great feast. What's a great feast? Thanksgiving? Wait a second. Eucharist means, comes from Thanksgiving, the word Thanksgiving, to be thankful. Mm -hmm. So it must mean Mass, so to go to Mass. So Mass, that's perfect. And we can go to Mass here at St. Michael's on Saturday at 5.30, Sunday at 8.30, 10.30, 12.30, and 5. Perfect. I didn't know the Mass was a prayer. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What's another way we can pray? Now, the GPS says something bright. Mm -hmm. A bright way to adore Jesus. Adore at ad adoration. Oh, well, what's adoration? Well, adoration is when you get to sit and talk to Jesus whenever he's in the body of Christ. That's like the bread. Not the bread. What's that thing that it's in called? The bright thing. It's called the monster. 
remonstrance, and it's Jesus radiating his light and his love on his people. Oh, that's really cool. Sounds really cool. Okay, the GPS next said something about a squeaky clean soul. What? Squeaky clean? We aren't taking a shower, right? Not that I know of. Hmm. Oh. But a way to cleanse our souls is through confession. Confession is a way where we can tell the priest who stands in persona Christi, which means in the person of Christ, and the priest absolves us of our sins. So all of our sins are forgiven. Just like that? Just like that. So all I have to do is just say what I did wrong, be sorry for them, and Jesus forgives me? Yep, that easy. I really should go to confession. Well, luckily, we offer confessions here at St. Michael's every Thursday and Saturday at 4 p.m. outside in the parking lot. I'm gonna have to check it out. Mm -hmm. Great, so we solved all the GPS riddles but we can't just pray here at church. We have to remember how to pray at home. Hmm. You know, an easy way to pray at home is to bless our meals before we eat. Oh yeah, it's a super short and easy prayer that we can pray every single time we eat and with our families. That's true, I do eat a lot. Same. One way I like to start my day or end it is with a prayer. That way I can thank Jesus for the great day I've had or thank him for waking up again for another day of life. Oh, I love that. Something that I do is every day at three o'clock, I say a special Jesus I trust in you prayer mm -hmm. because at three o'clock, that's when he died on Good Friday. Oh, I have to try that. Mm -hmm. Another thing my family does is we pray the rosary every day, or at least we try to. Sometimes we can even break it up where we read a decade every day so by the end of the week, on Friday, we finish our rosary. Wow, you know, sometimes I find the rosary to be really long, mm -hmm. but I know it's always good to pray the rosary. I agree. So we have to go to mass, adoration, confession. We can pray the rosary, pray before and after meals. We can pray when we wake up, mm -hmm. when we go to bed. Wow, there really are so many ways to pray. Yeah, something that I find really helpful is finding a buddy to pray with. You know, something my family does is we go around and kind of share our blessings and burdens. Mm -hmm. So what is something good that happened? What is something bad that happened? That way we know how to pray for one another mm -hmm. and thank God for all the good things that have happened to us. Another way we can pray is actually through singing. Because did you know that to sing is to pray twice? Have you ever heard that to rock out is to pray thrice? No. <laughs> Just me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You know, trying to figure out and maintaining my prayer life is really hard. You know, maybe we should be prayer partners. Oh, I like the sound of that. That way, I can help you and you can help me and we both help each other get to heaven. Exactly! That's perfect. You know, since we're going to be prayer partners, why don't we start with going to adoration together right now? Okay, let's go! Hi friends, welcome back. This is Miss Jessa. I'm back to teach you guys how to do another craft. So today you guys learned about prayer, right? You guys learned about adoration. You guys learned about confession. Um, so today we are going to make prayer bottles. Okay, so for this craft, you will need an empty water bottle, a pitcher of warm water, clear dish soap, some white glitter, you can even use some multicolored glitter, food coloring, I have some wooden crosses, I have leaf or palm sequences, and then I have plain mirror sequences, and then I also have shelves, okay? So I have already poured warm water in this bottle, about three-fourths, 
And if you need some help, make sure to ask your mom, your dad, older brother, older sister. You can even ask your grandma or grandpa to help you out with this crap. So once you pour this in, you are going to start to put the things that go inside the bottle, okay? So we're going to put some crosses in there. Seven crosses. I'm just going to grab a handful of green palm sequences, okay? And we're going to drop that in there as well. Be very careful. And you know, it's really up to you with how much you want to put inside the bottle. You don't have to put as much as I'm putting, or if you want to put way more, go on and put as much as you want in there, okay? And then now we're going to put in these just plain mirror sequences. I'm also just going to grab a few and drop them in there. Next, I'm going to grab some shells. Okay. These shells are so cute. And then you're going to drop that in the water as well. Okay. Next, we're going to drop some glitter. Okay. If you need some help, let me show you a trick. I don't have a funnel with me right now, but I'm going to make my own funnel with this paper. Okay. You're just going to roll it up like this. You're going to stick it towards the top, okay? Then you can drop the glitter in there. And you, what I said, you can put as much as you want in there. You might have to shake it a little bit so we could go inside. Let's hope Miss Jessica doesn't make a big mess. Oh, no. If you have an actual funnel at home, maybe that will work a lot better. Okay, almost done, yay! Okay, so put most of the glitter in there, okay? Now, you're going to fill the rest with some dish soap. It's gonna go in there, squeeze this in there. All right, now we can close this up, okay? We're going to give it a shake, all right? All right, guys, we made our prayer bottles. Okay, so you might be wondering, why did we choose the things that we put in there, right? So first, we put in some wooden crosses, okay? So when you see the wooden crosses inside your prayer bottles, let that remind you that you that Jesus loves you so much, okay? And that through Jesus, all things are possible, okay? Next, we put in some green palm leaves, okay? So when you see the palm leaves, let that remind you to shout Hosanna and give thanks for all your blessings. Give thanks for all the things you are thankful for, okay? Next. We put in some of these silver sequences, right? They're kind of like mirrors, okay? So when you see these tiny mirrors, let that remind you that you are made in His image, all right? Then next we put in some shells. So when you see the shells, let that remind you that you are baptized and marked as His forever, right? I say shells because it reminds, of, reminds us of water, okay? And for our baptism, they used water, right? And then next we use some glitter or some sparkles, okay? When you see the sparkles, let that remind you that Jesus is the light of the world, okay? So when you're praying, this is a good thing to kind of have. I know I like to have things in my hands when I pray sometimes. So this will be good for um, younger ones to have to put in their hands to kind of remind them what they can pray, um, what they can pray for, and whatnot. And I think it's pretty neat. So once you're done shaking it up, if you want to add some color in there, you guys can go ahead and get some of the food coloring. Okay, I have some bright ones. I'm going to add some blue in there to make it 
really pretty. I love the color blue. Hopefully this works. Okay, maybe just like one or two drops. I think that should be fine. <laughs> that was the wrong cap. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna close it back up and let's see what happens. Add some color in there. Whoa, so now mine is the color blue. You don't have to add food coloring in there. You can if you want. I just wanted mine to be a pretty color. Hope you guys enjoy. Hi friends, welcome back. This is Jessa again. So I showed you guys earlier how to do the prayer bottles. Well, here is another craft that you guys can do. You can choose whichever one you want or you can even do both. So next we're going to make prayer jars. Look how cute this is. <laughs> so you can grab any jar you have. I have like a little mason jar thing and you can decorate it. And what it is, is you can put these popsicle sticks in there and you can write down different prayers or different things that you can pray for, especially for, um, for kids that are like having trouble, like kind of thinking about what to pray, this might help them out. And it's a really cute thing to just, you know, keep by your bedside. You could even um, use it for your um, bedtime prayer. You can just choose a popsicle stick. And then this one says, thank God for keeping you healthy. Okay. So some of the things that I have that I'm going to use to decorate my jar is I have um, a burlap piece. I have some scraps of paper. I also have some twine. You can also use string if you don't have this. Um, I have some wooden crosses that I'm applying to hot glue onto my jar. And then I also made this really cute banner that says pray on it. Okay. You guys can decorate it however you want. So for me, I'm going to start out with a burlap piece. And for the younger ones, I'm going to be using hot glue. So make sure that you have your mom or your dad or your sister or your brother or your grandma or grandpa with you to help you out because hot glue is hot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start out and hot glue this burlap piece down. Okay, any way you want. You can even paint it. I've seen people paint their prayer jars. You can spray paint it. You can add whatever you want to these jars, okay? Just whatever you think looks cute or looks good. I am being very careful with the hot glue, guys. Woo. Okay. So first piece done. Next, I'm going to grab some scrap paper, okay? And I'm going to overlap that. Right. So I'm going to center it to where this is going to be the front, but you can have it facing any way you want. Okay, I'll glue this down. Be very careful like what I said. All right, look at this cute flower scrap paper I added. And then I'm going to add another scrap paper on top of that to add some more pattern to it. Look how cute it is. I'm actually going to cut this. I don't like it too thick, but it's up to you, whatever you like. You could also add glitter to your um, jar. Put that on there. Let's see. I love the color blue, as you guys can tell. Now I'm going to grab some twine and I want to wrap this around the top. Now this is my preference. You can do whatever you want. So what I did was just put a drop of glue at the end of the twine. I'm going to stick this towards the back. 
let that cool off. And then once that is dry, I'm going to start wrapping the top part of the jar. Then I'm going to come back down just to double wrap it. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut that off. And then hot glue that end and then press that on the jar. Look how cute it is. Okay, next I'm going to add my wooden cross and I'm going to put this in the middle like so. Okay, so I'm going to actually, let's see if I could do it like that. There you go. Just hot glue. I'm just going to put a small dot. Then I'm going to put it in the center. Look how cute this looks. Okay. My last piece that I'm going to add is I'm going to add my prey banner that I made. Okay. I'm actually going to glue the center of the banner to the front center so it could stay still. Okay, I'll let that dry off, and then I'm going to grab the ends, let's see if I can tie it up. Alright, I'm going to knot mine in the back. Okay guys, I think my prayer jar is finished. There goes my prayer jar. Okay, so the next step to this jar is you're going to grab some popsicle sticks, okay? And you guys can write any prayer that you want on there, okay? So this one says, for your prayer, you can take a moment of silence. For your prayer, or for your prayer, you can thank God for what he has blessed you with, okay? You can pray for a family member, okay? Pray for people without food, pray for peace on earth, okay? So those are just some examples that you guys can write down on your popsicle sticks. It doesn't matter what um, you put on there, it's up to you, but you can just stick them in there and then you can keep it by your bed and right before you go to bed when you're about to pray, you can just pull out a popsicle stick and it'll tell you what you can pray for. Hope you guys like this craft. Us. We hope you had fun learning about mass, praying, uh, dancing, singing, creating. We've done a lot, yes. But one of the most important things to remember is God is here! So, we'll see you next time.